The Witcher 3. A fantastic game by any objective metric, but after playing it through 40 or 50 times, perhaps you're starting to feel like something's missing and you can't quite put your finger on it. What could it be? If you answered not enough candy cane decapitations and Deadpool hitting things with guitars, you are absolutely right. Mods! The gaming equivalent of spicing up your love life with toys and or costumes. But we're not here to look at the ones that enhance gameplay and immersion while adhering to lore-friendly designs. No, we're here to look at the ones that make you laugh. The ones that make you cry. And especially the ones that make you ask, WHY? WHAT DEMONIC FORCE POSSESSED SOMEBODY TO SPEND TIME MAKING THIS? So wear your CD Projekt Red logo shirt with pride as we look at the funniest, weirdest Witcher 3 mods we could find. Do you ever feel like that shirt Geralt starts out with is a little plain? Why not spruce it up with a picture of some random dude's face? Yes, you can, and why wouldn't you want to? Somebody spent time photoshopping his friend's face and putting it on Geralt's shirt. Such commitment to friendship deserves a place in your Witcher 3 game, don't you think? Sometimes, to defeat the monsters, you have to become a monster. Look out, ladies! Skull-faced Geralt is here to make all your dreams come true. I know he might look a little freaky, but just one piercing glance from those unblinking eye sockets will melt all your inhibitions. I hear the girls in Skulliga can't resist him. That's right, they all want to bone him. Oh look, it's a bunch of angry boyfriends and husbands come to express their displeasure with their fists. I guess they missed the part where Geralt's skinless head is basically a bone club at this point. Did they really think they'd have a chance? Oh yeah. It's selfie time. Good boy, Roach. Come on, guys, I know he's a bonehead, but it's not really his fault. What lady wouldn't be driven wild by the thought of that thing nibbling on her neck? Just look how into it Yennefer is. She can't get enough of mashing her lips against those... teeth. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. I don't want to be reasonable. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Look, Bonehead Geralt. It's veteran witcher Vesemir, who seems to have fallen asleep while instructing Ciri. And she seems to have adorned his face with some hilarious pictographs. Or, wait a minute. Vezzy, did you do those yourself? I didn't realize you were such a devoted brony. I guess every man eventually reaches an age where his devotion to fandom overrules his dignity. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. The things young folk get up to these days. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Speaking of fandoms, shipping characters is a favorite pastime among members of any such group, but have you ever had the urge to ship one character with the same character? Say, Vesemir with Vesemir? But how, I hear you asking, with a slight tone of disdain to mask your titillated curiosity? Simple. Just turn everyone into Vesemir. Geralt, Yennefer, Triss, and you'll be waist deep in all the Vesemir on Vesemir action you can handle. Can you still handle it? How about now? How about now? And don't worry about losing track of the real Vesemir. It's easy to tell which one he is because he's still got two stormtroopers and a My Little Pony on his face. If morphing Geralt into someone else strikes your fancy, Vesemir is far from your only choice. Perhaps a famous British footballer is more your style. Well, that's one way to bend it. Or maybe a visionary social media entrepreneur. This mod is just called Ginger Witcher, but come on, I can't be the only one that sees it. What would Zuck be doing in a world without the internet anyway? Chess club? Creating shadow banning spells? I don't know about you, but I envision a lot of this. No. No.
A popular fan theory surrounding Siri is that she visited the world of Cyberpunk 2077 during her universe-hopping adventure with Avalon. She describes visiting a world where people have metal in their heads, flying ships, and other sci-fi sounding stuff. Also, she brought you back this helmet. There aren't many cyber psychos to track down in this world, Geralt, so I guess the next best thing to do is wear it on a date with Triss? Cyberware activated. Ah, that looks painful. But what if the world Siri traveled to wasn't cyberpunk? What if it was actually the world of... Deus Ex? Acceleration. Despite being utterly lore-breaking, Adam Jensen does feel like a good fit for the world of The Witcher, and... Come on, man. You're not even gonna take your glasses off? Oh no. When you're done breaking that unicorn, Adam, perhaps you could look into a local anomaly involving the local chickens. The brown ones are exhibiting some very strange... What's this? Upon closer inspection, they appear to be wearing adorable alien mind control helmets. How cute is that? I always suspected the end of the world would be heralded by some form of chicken uprising. Ever get tired of killing things with cold metal and fire? Perhaps you'd like to explore a career change and spread goodness and joy with a musical instrument instead. Oh yeah, serenade those monsters like the skillful bard you are, Geralt. With your new career, a new outfit is definitely in order. One that says, move over, dandelion. There's a new bard in town. Get ready to toss a coin to... Deadpool? Nice. Playing as Deadpool in the world of The Witcher is hilarious and fun, but the quality of this mod makes it especially satisfying to play with. The modeling, the texturing, it all looks great. Kudos to the mod developer for doing such a great job with this one. The only downside is that you can't use those guns. It's okay though, he's got a weapon that'll leave you satisfied. He's still got that guitar. <laughs> Ah, it's that time of year again. There's a chill in the air, crisp snow covers the ground, and Geralt feels an uncontrollable urge to beat things to death with candy canes. Even the Leshen are getting into the feel of the season. Talk about a festive spirit, am I right? Bring a little Christmas cheer into this dark, dreary world with festive scenery, clothing, weapons, and much more. Maybe you'll even win an ugly Christmas sweater contest or two. Um, Geralt, you got anything on under that, buddy? No? Oh, okay. And there you have it, the funniest and weirdest Witcher 3 mods we could find. Did we miss any that you find particularly amusing or strange? Are there other games you'd like to see us mod in funny ways? Let us know in the comments. And if you'd like to try any of these mods for yourself, you can find links to all of them in the description. Don't forget to slam that like button on your way out. Thanks so much for watching, and happy modding. Thanks so much for watching, don't forget to like, sub, and hit that notification bell, and then check out some of these other videos. Find the link to our Discord server and other important stuff in the description below.